Hey, what's up everyone? Today we are going to discuss the new building expansion that was just confirmed. We are also going to be discussing the next update because some of us thought it was going to arrive Thursday or Friday because that's what they said in one of their previous videos. But that is not the case and one of the community managers actually informed us on what's actually going on. So yeah, there is a lot to talk about in today's video. So let's go ahead and dive right into this. Let's begin by discussing the new building expansion that will be arriving here soon and this was just confirmed over at the official Power World Discord by one of the community managers named Bucky. And Bucky had responded to a user who had said this right here. I think I'm going to get up super early in the morning so I can try to ask Bucky if there is a chance we're getting new building parts. Bucky responded with, there's a fairly big expansion of the building system planned, yes. It's not in this upcoming update though. One of the things I would like to see out of this building expansion is a way to undo something that may have happened to your house or building or castle, whatever you're trying to build, right? Let's say that your building is completely destroyed or you accidentally blew it up. Maybe there is a way that it will leave a blueprint behind so that you can actually use some of your material to place those objects down again. I think that would make a huge difference when it comes down to building because Honestly, as of right now, it's just a pain to build. It truly is. So to have a future like that would make a big difference. And honestly, I would like to know your thoughts on this. What do you want them to include in this building expansion? Let me know personally what you prefer more. More building pieces or easier ways to edit so that in the end, if, for example, like I mentioned previously, if something terrible were to happen, you can have the option to undo it. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. We are now going to move on and talk about the next update as well as some more information about the cosmetic skins because the community manager responded to some of the, I guess, negative feedback or some of the responses to the fact that they might just release some microtransactions. And if you guys did miss that video, I uploaded something yesterday, but I will inform you in this one. So what exactly is going on as of right now? That is a good question. Well, right now there is some talks about cosmetic skins, potentially for your pal or for your character in general. There has been some negative feedback as of late, not only from Discord, but even from my comments. Some of you expressed your opinions, your frustration with microtransactions and some of you were okay with it here are some of the responses why pay for microtransactions when you got mods another user right here said i'm fine with merch and such but i don't know if microtransactions will be a good thing for power world just imo in my honest opinion of course and then right here we have another one that says eh if done right and not paid to play skins could be fun. And last but not least, another subscriber had this to say, I would rather see them sell RL goods like plushies and the like. This right here is interesting because the feedback has been completely mixed and the developers and the community managers over at the official Power World Discord have been hearing the same exact thing. What we can see right here is a post that was made over on the official Power World Discord and this is what Buggy had to say. I mean, we will definitely consider cosmetic skins or pals in the future. Then a member of the Discord had this to say in response, There's a possible risk of receiving complaints about pain skins in a paid app. Unless you all have an idea in mind that can give players freebies prior to Power World becoming a free game. A genuine question. Bucky then responded to Knuckles by saying, Tons of paid games have skins. But anyway, I simply said long term, it is something that may be considered. Right now, the focus is on finishing early access anyway. We can discuss all these things later. And then a different user decided to chime in by saying, I hope there is an annual timetable. The roadmap does not mark any time points. And lastly, Bucky decided to say, there's an internal timeline. Yes, we have it all mapped out. What I want to know specifically is what exactly do you dislike about microtransactions? Is it the skins or do you mainly dislike pay to win items? If that is the case, I completely understand. But on the other side of the coin, if you dislike the fact that they're trying to incorporate some sort of skins or cosmetics to fund the game some more once they have, you know, officially got it out of early access, then I'm not too sure why you would be upset about that because that would indeed help the game out quite a lot. A lot of games have done that. Fortnite has been one of them. I think that's an OG there. 
Sea of Thieves has also done something like that. These right here are some examples. Of course, there are more games out there that have done the same exact thing. And really, it's to help out the game in general so that they can fund the game so that they can give us new content. I'm okay with it. Again, it's not a big deal. So with that being said, let me know your thoughts down below what you dislike the most. Is it skins or pay to win items? Let me know down below in the comments. Alrighty, we are going to continue on and talk about the update. As you guys know, we were supposed to receive the update this week. We did not receive it, and guess what? We are not going to receive an update this weekend either, because it has been confirmed over at the Power World Discord. There is this member right here named Donnie, and this is what he had to say. Do we think update is today or tomorrow? Bucky responded with, it won't be Saturday or Sunday. Too risky releasing at the weekend when a majority of the team are aren't at the office. And there you go. It has been confirmed that there will not be an update this weekend. So when will there be? This right here is a great question. Currently at this time, we can honestly only expect that the update will arrive maybe next week and that could either be Thursday or Friday. Potentially it arrives maybe the next week afterwards. But yeah, as of right now, we do not have an idea on when the next update will come out. And it is kind of disappointing because man, I was really expecting this update to arrive this March. And now that it's not arriving, that is kind of disappointing, but it is understandable and and I can wait. I can absolutely wait. It's not a big deal because I would rather give the developers time. Of course, it's not me giving them time. They are giving themselves the time to do this, but I would rather see them give themselves the time to, you know, take a break a little bit, then come back at it and fix the game up some more. There's no need to rush this process, really. I mean, it's going to be a big update, so I would expect that this next patch is going to be pretty huge and it will fix a good portion of the bugs and maybe some of the glitches that we have been using for the last few days. If that is the case and they do plan on patching quite a few glitches, what I suggest that you do is go to my videos on my channel and look for some Power World glitches. I recommend taking advantage of those glitches before they do get patched because you never know with these developers. So make sure that you take a look at some of those glitches and try them out. And last but not least, we are going to take a look at some bugs that have just popped up in Power World as of late. This Reddit member had this to say right here, raids stopped occurring even though they are turned on. This probably should be a bug report, but I figured I should check here first. I have moved base locations a few times, but after the last base move around day 100 on my save file, I have not had a raid at any of my bases. Does anybody know a way to make the raid start again? Alrighty, with this bug right here, if you have been experiencing this, there is a good chance that you placed your base on top of a mountain that is inaccessible for other pals to get to you. So what I suggest, if you do want some sort of difficulty and you do not want to take advantage of that glitch, what I suggest is just moving your base. That is the only way that you will be able to fix that issue. If that right there does not resolve the issue, then what I suggest is that you go ahead and revert back to an old save. And last but not least, we are going to talk about a save issue going on. So if you guys did not know, there is a problem with saves, and specifically with your server saves. For example, this user right here named Miranda had this to say, save loss critical bug question. Hey everyone, as the title suggests, I'm just wondering if there is an estimate of when servers will be safe to run again without progress loss. I currently host a server and have had it offline for a bit now in order to protect myself and my friends from losing our save data. I'm waiting patiently, but was just wondering if there is any estimate of when playing would be possible again. Okay, right there, we all know that the update is not arriving at the end of March, so we can officially scrap that out of the way. If we're talking about the servers, maybe it's resolved by April sometime next week. That is my best guess. If you are experiencing some issues with your saves or your server, then what I suggest is making sure that you shut it down or keep a backup of it because you never know what's going to happen when you log back in, especially this next update that is supposed to arrive sometime soon. You just want to make sure that you're just safe, right? So make sure that you keep a backup and you should be good to go. Anyways, this is the end of the video. If you have any questions about a previous video or this video, go ahead and ask down below. Let me know your exact thoughts on everything that we have talked about. If you have not subscribed just yet, make sure that you do that now 
and turn on those notifications as well make sure that you follow my twitter or if not you can go ahead and join the discord do one of the two thank you all for the support and i will see you all in the next video